their royal baby. With the upcoming marriage of Prince Harry to Meghan Markle, people are speculating when a new royal bundle of joy will make an appearance. When that day finally arrives, they will have their work cut out for them when it comes to picking out a name. The average expectant parent has a hard enough time picking out a name for their baby. I can only imagine how much pressure these two must feel to pick out the perfect name for their little prince or princess. British monarchs tend to pick from a small pool of family names, so that eats some of the pressure. Yet, each family member has around five names, so they have something can to do. Of course, there are those titles that are tried and true. There have been four Williams and six George in the royal family tree. If they want to select from queens that narrows the choices down to Elizabeth or Victoria. There is an entire cast of princesses just waiting to have their names reclaimed. The chances that Meghan and Harry will select an exotic name are slim. Although, there have been some royals that broke tradition and went with a unique name but those are few and far between. Well, if they need any help, they should turn to Bay by DGA for advice. I've compiled a list of royal names that they might select from. Please enjoy this list of 20 possible baby names Meghan and Harry will name their royal baby. Charles The first and obvious choice if Harry and Meghan have a son would be to name him after Harry's father, Prince Charles. He is the heir apparent to the throne and the oldest child of Queen Elizabeth II. It would be an honor bestowed upon their little boy to have the same name as his grandfather and I'm sure that the Queen would be pleased by this choice. It is quite a distinguished moniker. The name Charles is of German origin, and means free man. The highest recorded use of the name was in 1947 with a total of 40,772 babies. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 5,359 newborn babies. According to the 1960 U.S. Social Security Administration data, the name ranks number seven in popularity as a baby boy's name in Georgia. Diana. It would be so lovely if the youngest royal couple were to name their daughter Diana, after Harry's mother. The Princess of Wales was the most beloved member of the royal family. She married Prince Charles in 1981 and was known as the People's Princess because of her charitable work. The couple divorced in 1996. Diana lost her life in a car crash in 1997. It would be a beautiful tribute if Harry were to give his future daughter this title. Diana is a name of Greek origin, and it means divine. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 357,500 for babies born with the first name Diana in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to ten newborn babies. Diana is the 188th most popular name of all time. Philip. Another great option for Harry and Meghan. If they gave birth to a son, would be to name him after Harry's grandfather, Prince Philip. He married Queen Elizabeth, who was the daughter of Queen Victoria, and also happened to be his distant cousin. Philip is a solid name that appeared on the charts in the late 1800s and saw a spike in popularity in the 1950s. Philip is a name of Greek origin, and it means lover of horses. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 339,290 babies born with the name Philip in the U.S. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given to 186 newborn babies. The oldest recorded birth by the Social Security Administration for the first name Philip is Tuesday, May 18, 1813. Philip is the 203rd most popular name of all time. Elizabeth. Elizabeth is the name of the Harry's grandmother and would be perfect name for a potential princess. It also happens to be Princess Kate's middle name as well her mom's name, so they could get a lot of mileage out of this one. What little girl wouldn't want to be named after a queen? It's a feminine moniker that first saw a spike on the charts in the 1920s and has totally held its own over the decades. Elizabeth is a name of Hebrew origin, and it means God is my oath. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 1,625,783 babies born with the first name Elizabeth in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 1,948 newborn babies. 
Elizabeth is the 14th most popular name of all time. Henry. Here's a little unknown fact. Prince Harry was actually christened as Henry. Why shouldn't Harry name his kid after himself? Henry also happens to be a name that is established for kings so it fits the royal bill, for sure. It's a noble title that saw a big jump on the charts in the 1920s. The moniker saw a dip in popularity for a bit there but reclaimed its spot in 2016. Henry is a name of German origin, and it means ruler of the home. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 673,082 babies born with the first name Henry in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 2,455 newborn babies. The oldest recorded birth by the Social Security Administration for the first name Henry is Thursday, July 16, 1818. Catherine Catherine just so happens to be the Duchess of Cambridge's name and has an aristocratic air to it that would be perfect for Harry and Meghan daughter. It has a sweet sensibility to it that makes old-fashioned but gives it some modern potential. It rose on the charts in 1920s and is totally due for a comeback. If the royal family chose this one again, it would put it back on the map again. Catherine is a name of Irish origin, and it means form of the Greek Catherine meaning pure. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 12,922 babies born with the first name Catherine in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 28 newborn babies. Catherine is the 2,142nd most popular name of all time. William Perhaps the biggest honor Harry could give his big brother would be to name his firstborn after him. Prince William is his older sibling and these two seem to have true genuine affection for one and other. It would be such a sweet gesture, for sure. It is quite a sophisticated name that would be fit for any prince. William was very popular in the early 1950s and has totally held its own on the charts over the years. William is a name of English origin, and it means strong-willed warrior. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 4,103,456 babies born with the first name William in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 9,562 newborn babies. William is the sixth most popular name of all time. Alexandra If Meghan and Harry want to give another nod to his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, then they should consider naming their daughter Alexandra. It just so happens to be one of her two middle names, the other one being Mary. Alexandra has a ton of glamour and would be an awesome pick for their little girl. It pretty much didn't see any action for a while but saw a spike in the late 90s. This one is just waiting to be claimed again. Alexandra is a name of Greek origin, and it means defender of the people. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 229,618 babies born with the first name Alexandra in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1894 when it was given as a first name to five newborn babies. Alexandra is the 324th most popular name of all time. Arthur The name Arthur bring about images of the Knights of the Round Table and for good reason. Not only is it the name of the boy who pulled the Excalibur from the stone, but it also happens to be one of Prince William's middle name. Harry could give a subtle tip of the hat to his big brother if her Meghan were to choose this one. The title was popular on the charts in the 1920s and had a resurgence in the 1950s. Arthur is a name of Welsh origin, and it means bairn. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 528,956 babies born with the first name Arthur in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 1,600 for newborn babies. Arthur is the 120th most popular name of all time. Beatrice Beatrice is a totally cute name this is linked to the eldest daughter of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Sarah Ferguson. Duchess of York. Princess Beatrice was named after Queen Victoria's daughter and would be an adorable option for Harry and Meghan to name their little girl. He could totally name his daughter after his cousin. 
The name the actress was wildly popular in the 1920s and is just waiting for the royal family to put dibs on it again. Beatrice is a name of French origin, and it means bringer of joy. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 190,735 babies born with the first name Beatrice in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 87 newborn babies. Beatrice is the 379th most popular name of all time. George Queen Elizabeth II's dad was George Ivy so the moniker would be a great option for a royal baby boy. I'm quite sure that the Queen would be pleased to see Harry name his son after his great-grandfather. William and Kate already selected this one for their son but Meghan could lay claim to it as well. George would also make good middle name. It's one of those monikers that is totally masculine but sort of cute at the same time. George is a name of Greek origin, and it means farmer. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 1,470,933 babies born with the first name George in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 5,152 newborn babies. George is the 17th most popular name of all time. Zara Zara is a spunky name that Meghan and Harry might want to circle if they have a little girl. It is the name of the daughter of Anne, Princess Royal. Anne totally broke royal convention when she chose this one for her daughter so it deserves to be cemented in the royal line. It's exotic and sophisticated, just like Meghan. I think it would be the perfect name. Zara is a name of English origin, and it means princess. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 8,909 babies born with the first name Zara in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1896 when it was given as a first name to five newborn babies. The oldest recorded birth by the Social Security Administration for the first name Zara is Thursday, July 15, 1875. It ranks number 2644 of all time. Albert If they wanted to dig back into Harry's lineage, Albert would be a solid pick for Harry and Meghan's son. Prince Albert was the concord of Queen Victoria and was also Harry's great, great, great-grandfather. That's a lot of greats. The moniker has been a favotite among the royals and could serve as a great middle name. It's got a bit of a vintage cool vibe. Albert is a name of English origin, and it means noble and bright. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 489,405 babies born with the first name Albert in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 1,493 newborn babies. He highest recorded use of the first name Albert was in 1921. It ranks the 128th most popular name of all time. Camilla If Harry and Meghan wanted to ruffle some feathers, they could totally name their little princess Camilla after Harry's stepmom. Although, it would be a bit of a scandalous pick considering that Prince Charles had an affair with her, which is a shame because it really is such a pretty name. It hasn't had much of a place on the charts until it saw a sudden surge in popularity in 2016. Camilla is a name of Italian origin, and it means perfect. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 20,917 babies born with the first name Camilla in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to six newborn babies. The oldest recorded birth by the Social Security Administration for the first name Camilla is Sunday, May 9, 1869. Peter Peter is the name of princess and son and he is a cousin to Harry. It would be a more modern pick for Harry and Meghan's little boy. It's got a buttoned-up sensibility to it but is totally cute as well. It saw a rise on the charts in the 1950s but has since fallen out of favor. This means that it's poised to make a comeback and a modern-day prince by this name would do the trick. Peter is a name of Greek origin, and it means rock. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 575,073 babies born with the first name Peter in the United States. 
The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 496 newborn babies. Peter is the 101st most popular name of all time. Victoria Victoria is a stunning name that would be a dramatic pick for Harry and Meghan. It's a classic name that instantly brings up images of Queen Victoria, who served the longest reign in any British monarch. The title saw a rise in popularity in the late 1990s and has held its place ever since. It's classy and sophisticated. They could do the more casual version and nickname their daughter, Vicky. Victoria is a name of Latin origin, and it means winner, conqueror. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 480,474 babies born with the first name Victoria in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 93 newborn babies. The highest recorded use of the name was in 1993 with 12,922 babies. It is the 134th most popular name of all time. Andrew Harry could also name his little guy after his uncle, Prince Andrew. This is a super cute moniker that would be the perfect name. They could even nickname him Andy which is beyond adorable. This one surged on the charts in the 1980s only to take a dip in popularity. Harry and Meghan would be wise to snatch this one up. Andrew is a name of Greek origin, and it means manly. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 1,280,459 babies born with the first name Andrew in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 644 newborn babies. The oldest recorded birth by the Social Security Administration for the first name Andrew is Thursday, September 30, 1858. Andrew is the 27th most popular name of all time. And Princess Anne is Harry's aunt and I am sure that she would be totally flattered if he and Meghan named their daughter after her. It's a delicate name that would be just right for a little lady. It would serve well as a first or middle name. It came onto the charts in the 1920s and had a resurgence in popularity in the 1960s. It has retro feel to it that makes it super sweet. That is a name of English origin, and it means variant of Hebrew Hannah meaning favor. Grace From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 321,416 babies born with the first name in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 136 newborn babies. Then is the 223rd most popular name of all time. Edward Prince Edward is Queen Elizabeth's youngest child and is also Harry's uncle. So, Edward would be a solid option for a royal little boy. The moniker was made popular by the vampire of the same name in the Twilight series. That means that Meghan and Harry's son would have a royal name that is steeped in pop culture. It was popular in the 1920s and again in the 1960s. It's a masculine title that somehow sounds a bit noble. Edward is a name of English origin, and it means wealthy guardian. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 1,291,786 babies born with the first name Edward in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 2,364 newborn babies. Edward is the 25th most popular name of all time. Margaret Princess Margaret was Queen Elizabeth II's sister and Harry's great-aunt. This moniker would be a gentle-sounding name for Harry and Meghan to pick. She could also go by the ever-spunky nickname, Margie. The title claimed its spot in the 1920s and took a little bit of a dive, which means it is poised to gain steam once again. Margaret is a name of English origin, and it means pearl. From 1880 to 2016, the Social Security Administration has recorded 1,248,131 babies born with the first name Margaret in the United States. The name was first given to five or more babies in the year 1880 when it was given as a first name to 1,578 newborn babies. The oldest recorded birth by the Social Security Administration for the first name Margaret is Monday, October 2, 1826. Margaret is the 29th most popular name of all time.